What's good, everybody? This is Dion Smo from Smo's Modern Corn Arts, and uh, I'm in a deep meditative state of mind right now, and uh, just got some things in my mind. And uh, like I said, this is my channel. You can watch it or not. I don't give a fuck, you know. You say, oh, you're not entertaining enough for me. Well, like I said, go watch, uh, you know, you know, uh, go to a bullshit YouTuber's channel who they lie about shit. They have no soul. They sold their soul to Satan. And uh, there's just nothing you can relate to them. Go listen to them, you know. Me, the content I have comes from the soul. I have a soul. You know, I didn't sell my soul. You know, I'm, I am you know, I don't relate to anyone, but more people can relate to me than you realize. And this is where this, uh, I'm in my Saban Crow and Herman Branch, uh, excuse the, uh, the footage right now. It's in the Saban Crow and the Herman Branch, uh, mode. The dark screen. But anyway... This is going to be a kind of weird and, and definitely a controversial video. Um, but as you guys know, Bruce, uh, the master Bruce Lee we know of today, was, uh, he was, at, he was of Asian descent, Chinese descent, you know, um, he was of Asian descent, but also, Bruce was like, I think, and I could be wrong, if I'm wrong, post this in the comments, but Bruce was like, 25% German, like, Bruce Lee wasn't even fully, uh, you know, fully, you know, Asian or, you know, Chinese, Bruce had like 25% German in him, and, uh, This right here is a kind of a theory of mine. Um, and, and I don't even met this is just a theory of mine. I don't know if it's true. I'm just speaking on what I believe it is. <sighs> you know, I have a theory that... Uh, Um, I have a theory that, uh, when Bruce was, Bruce Lee was sent off, um, when Bruce Lee was sent off to America in San Francisco, um, when he was, I think he was like 13 years old or something like that, but he was having some problems in China and all that. Well, here, I have a different theory that, uh, I think his parents sent, I, th and this is just a theory of mine, but I think if it was either his father or whoever had the German, I don't, I don't remember if it was his mom or his dad, whoever had the German, the 25% part German in him. Whether it was his mom or his dad. I think whatever parent was was ashamed of Bruce. And they decided to ship Bruce off to America. They said we can't have, uh, you know, I don't know which parent was who had the German, you know. In that regard, I definitely got to do my, you know, um, I don't know which parent it was. Um. But whatever parent it was, I think, and this is just my theory, they were ashamed of Bruce and they said, you know, we got to ship this, this guy off to America. You know, he's having problems here in China. You know, 
you know, he's beating up all the, the, the Chinese uh, Sifus, you know. You know, he's got this part of, you know, you know, he's 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 25% German or whatever. I think they were ashamed. They're like, oh, you know what? We're just going to send him off to America. He'll, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll fit in better up there, even though Bruce was 75% Asian, you know, they still were ashamed of him, and they, they sent him off to China, or, I mean, to the U.S. America, because he had 25% German in him. I don't really know if it was his dad or his mom, but he definitely probably had a rough relationship, and they sent him um, to America because of that reason. And this is just a theory because... You got to think, who sends a 13-year-old off to America at that age, you know? Especially Chinese parents, you know what I mean? Like, who does that, you know? You know, there's a lot of, you know, theories, and there's a lot of explanations. Oh, it's because Bruce was getting into trouble, blah, 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 this and that, you know, but... uh a theory I have is that he was having trouble with the, uh, a, a specific parent who was ashamed of him because he was part German. And that's another thing, too. You don't, in order to be biracial, you don't have to just be half black or half white. To be biracial, you could be, you know, half Mexican, half white, half Chinese, and half white. Like, that's what being biracial ultimately is, you know what I mean? And whether you want to believe it or not, Bruce was biracial, you know. But Bruce was more Asian than he was, uh, he was German, or, you know. And that's just the truth, you know. Bruce was a hothead at the time. Whether he really was getting into fights in China or what, he got in trouble with the mob or whatever. I know Bruce was doing boxing. Um, Bruce was doing boxing at the time in China, and he was he was whipping all the boxers. Bruce never lost a boxing match. He beat all the boxers. Any boxer you put in him in China, he beat he beat them all. You know, you know, whether he was having problems in his home, um, like I have, you know, whether he was having problems in his home or not, I don't know. I think that has something to do with it, you know. You ain't just, listen, you're not just going to send, and, and living in China, just send your your uh, thirteen year old son out of nowhere from China, just to uh, you know flee the mob or whatever. You know, I think there were some external forces why they did that. This is just a theory of mine, but uh, I think Bruce was having some problems in the home with a certain parent who didn't like that he was part German, and I don't know what parent that was. Uh, but uh, that's just a theory of mine. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> either way, Bruce is a legend. You know what I mean? He always will be. You know. And uh, that's just you know the theory I have. But uh, anyway, you guys have a great night. Smells Michael Nards.